It's this game I remember from my childhood. There were a lot of ivory tiles involved that were very noisy. It was imported from China and somehow it wound up in the family rooms of suburban Jewish women. I guess we thought that probably in the White House they were playing Mahjong on Friday at 7.30, you know, who knows? This was what happened. It's part of life. It's like growing up and not having milk with a meat sandwich. It's like going to have dim sum or going out to have dinner. Everybody just do it. So we played in my house. Then we played in your house. Then we played in your house. And then we started again. The hostess would then take out her mahjong set, which they all carried around in these little cases that looked like clarinet cases or machine guns, you know. They would open out and throw all this stuff on the table. It was like the upper line of harmony in some music, the high notes, and you could hear the cluck of the mahjong tiles as you walked down street level. When someone wins, one voice would scream mahjong, and then immediately follow it. It would be like a big, oh, or a big, like, yay! <laughs> They would play until about 2 o'clock in the morning, and then afterwards, they would get into one car and they would go to Nathan's in Coney Island for Frankfurt. We girls can have so much fun for three or five dollars, have friends, coffee and cake, and a night out. No place. I find them very stimulating. Marja!